artist Dirty Donnie Gillies here. On today's episode, I am gonna teach you my way on how to distress a t-shirt. Now, I've looked at a lot of YouTube channels and I've done a lot of research and I've done this before a bunch. So what I've done is I've taken different elements from different things that people have done. I've tried them all and mixed it up and made my own deal. Basically, you just gotta do everything that they do um, and put it all into one, that's what I did. So it doesn't work that well on a really stiff t-shirt. Those really crazy, crazy 100% cotton shirts that basically can stand up on their own. Doesn't work that well on them, but about five or six of my other shirts came out amazing. Sometimes you gotta go through the cycle twice, even three times, but to get a, uh, to, dis to, to properly distress a shirt, for most shirts, it's gonna work pretty good. So let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to Daddy TV. Warning, the time wasted watching this video is non-refundable. Next episode is the full episode, A Week with Donnie. This is a tutorial episode. It's just a small one. It's just a little episode. I don't want to... I'm not going to put any Trevor cartoons on this. So maybe I might put a little one in there. But Because people want to see tutorials. According to my friends, people want to see tutorials. So I'm going to do a tutorial. They want to see more Donnie. I want to see more of you doing art, making things, doing crafts. Today is a tutorial on how to distress your t-shirts. So this bag of salt was about $5 at the nursery. Basically, Home Depot has these. Um, and check this out. So I got a bunch of my shirts in here. And this is phase one. Phase one is the salt water. So I got salt water about five days. I'm taking it out right now, and I'm gonna do phase two. Okay, so first one is my heavy metal shirt, and this was already uh, like a soft t-shirt, so the system worked really well on this. This is really, really super soft. Of course, it was already soft, so that was that was kind of a no-brainer. Uh, the second one was this Gimme Gimme's shirt that I designed with my friend Ken. Um, this worked really well, too. This shirt was um, was a pretty standard t-shirt. It wasn't a super heavy shirt, but it wasn't a uh, like a soft tee. So now it's a soft tee and the uh, system worked on this great. This was a hard tee. This t-shirt was pretty hard. I, Atari Matt does some uh, music for Donny TV and, um, and I've done an episode on him. He's amazing. Uh, and I really wanted to wear his shirt. Uh, the system worked really good on this. This I ran through twice. I ran through this, the system, two times and now it's perfect. I love it. This I ran through the system three times. This was a this was a regular 100% cotton shirt as well, and uh, it just was really 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 rough. It was a, a heavy one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Puma Stone on this King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard T-shirt because I really want to wear it. You're watching Donnie TV. You're watching, you're watching 
Again, do this at your own risk. Don't destroy your t-shirts. Don't get holes in your shirts. Just be careful. I'm not 100% sure how good it is for your shirt to leave it in vinegar and uh, salt for a few days <laughs> or a day or however long you want to leave it in for. Uh, but anyways, I found that this system works. On really heavy shirts, it's just it just really doesn't work that well. But you can get some of that starchy feeling out of it. Anyways, good luck. Let me know what you think. If you like the channel, subscribe and like. Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching Donnie TV. Go distress some shirts, man. Wait, hold on. Is this Donnie TV? <laughs>